It's a 181-year-old brand that tells America's economic and artistic journey through one product line, Martin Guitars, played by everyone from Elvis to the Avid Brothers. We're looking at this company with a long legacy and how their business stays in tune today. It's something we're calling American Remade. People who love Martin Guitars, you guys are a cult almost at this point. Yeah, they're, they're pretty fanatical. Willie Nelson has a Martin guitar that you would say amazingly is still in one piece. He's worn a big hole through the top. Johnny Cash, Eric Clapton, Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young. Martin guitars are the instruments of Grammys, gold records, and sold-out arenas. Home is a 600-employee Pennsylvania headquarters where design, detail, and craft have made music for generations. You learn what you're doing after 181 years. Mostly handmade since 1833, Martin built and rebuilt a signature American sound and one of the music industry's most enduring brands. The craftsmanship is impeccable. And I think that's what's carried the brand. It got tough back in the 1980s, I know. It's been tough in the 1880s. In the know, 1880s, too. We, we had to deal with things like civil war. We are affected by economic and political instability. Chris Martin is the sixth C.F. Martin CEO since his great, great, great grandfather took his woodworking skills to a Viennese violin factory. And they were dismissive of that. They said, oh, you know, you should stick with your father. He's got a good reputation as a cabinet builder. The guitar is a fad. It's a folk instrument. I think that was the impetus for him to go. I'm out of here. In his first 25 years in the United States, the immigrant businessman designed nine new models of guitar, all of them recognizable today, with variations of size, shape, and string. Martin uh, literally wrote the book for the design of acoustic steel string guitars. On Manhattan's Bleecker Street, Matt Umanov has sold Martin guitars since the 1960s. It's the one. You know, you, you can't beat the original. Martin could be like the BMW or the Mercedes. You ever had your hands in one? Boy, that is precise machinery. With a price point ranging from $2,000 to more than $10,000, Martin's share is 3% of the nearly $1 billion American guitar industry. But changing musical and economic tastes threatened the brand in the 1980s. MTV yep. came out with Unplugged, <laughs> and Eric Clapton came out yeah. for the very first one yeah. playing a Martin guitar. Yeah. What happened then? The phone started to ring. A Martin artist model guitar, an $8,000 limited series in collaboration with Clapton, sold out in hours. We don't call someone up and say, hey, you're famous. Would you play a Martin? We recognize that they're famous and they're playing a Martin. And we call them up and they're like, wow, yeah, let's talk. Let's do it. Let's do an artist model together. How many of these do you make every year? A lot. How many? My ancestors would be amazed. Our peak year in the 70s was about 23,000 guitars. That's a lot of guitars. Yeah. Last year we made 140,000 guitars. I think it has to do with the fact that right now there's something very exciting going on with popular music that embraces acoustic musical instruments. And that's what drives our business. And I've got Mumford & Sons, yeah. Avid Brothers, the Lumineers. Someone recognized that it's time again to reintroduce that sound to the consumer. That sound's been around. Yeah. It's just the demand for it ebbs and flows, and right now it's on, an, it's on an upswing. We're very fortunate that I meet young people that they get excited about guitars, guitar music, so they'll read an interview, John Mayer. And it's somewhere in the interview, John will say, well, when I was young, I went to find out more about my guitar hero, Bob Dylan. I'll read an older interview with Bob Dylan, and he'll say, well, when I was young and I got excited about the guitar, I wanted to learn more about my guitar hero, Woody Guthrie. All along the way, you find those guitar heroes holding Martin guitars. Martin balances its legacy with the demands of running a modern lifestyle brand. Martin ambassadors like 23-year-old Ed Sheeran or even snowboarder Danny Davis are among the new innovations launched to reach a broader consumer. How do you get your brand out there? What are some new ways that you've kind of made partnerships? Uh, well, once the musical, it's been, it's been a great relationship. We have a partnership with Lucky Jeans because mm -hmm. the folks that run Lucky's are, Lucky are Martin guitar fans, so they do some Martin shirts in their shops. shops. Who are you selling these guitars to? Folks that 
want a fine guitar. It's not usually the case, although I would love it to be, that a beginner starts with a Martin. But a beginner who stays excited ends up with a Martin.